hey everyone welcome back i'm so happy you're here and of course i hope everyone has an amazing day so far for everyone who is new here welcome my name is yanni and i'm doing this diy channel together with diane of course and if on this channel you will find lots and lots of seasonal decor diys and daily decor diys so if you like this content and you like what you see hit the bell click the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up it would help our channel a lot to grow so enough talking for today we have a new inspiration for you so go check it out get your thumb tower tower blocks and join us and you see already this is what we need for this diy for today we need of course our thumb tower tower blocks and these are the smaller blocks I have some paint, of course you can use some paint at your choice. I have my wood glue, but you can use hot glue. I have my little container like everyone already knows uh, with my scissors, markers, brushes, everything I need. I have here some twine, but I will use some thicker one because this is only to see that you uh, need some a piece of a rope. This is twine, this is thinner, but I'm going to use some thicker rope because we are going to make a decorative telephone so we will see how this will turn out and of course we need some uh, numbers from one until nine some sticker numbers some wooden numbers uh, you can uh, write it on top of it you can do anything you like and you can change it up any way you like also because this is just like i always say an inspiration so this is what we need and of course don't forget the uh, saucer with an old piece of kitchen towel which is wet so you can wipe away the glue you don't need so the first what we're going to do we are going to get nine blocks like this uh, three four five uh, six seven eight and, and nine Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, we, I have my numbers. I'm going to do on the longest side, I'm doing some glue. And of course on this one. And immediately place them against each other so your glue doesn't run all over your table. But I just got a tip from Connie. And she said maybe you also can make your place mats, my mats, uh, clean with some uh, nail polish. So I'm certainly going to do that and try if it works better than uh, with water. So maybe everything will come off. But of course, I always have new mats laying around. So I'm when it is too awful, I will, <laughs> I will place new mats. So like this. But Connie, I will certainly go to try it to do it with some nail polish. Uh, I have here four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And we're going to do the same row like this. And number two, number three, and number four, five, six, seven, and eight. And number nine is again the closure up. Of course, I always say if you use a metal hook uh, to uh, place your blocks again so you have a nice straight line, go ahead, use your uh, metal hook. I'm always a little bit stubborn and I'm just going to do it this way. So, but don't mind me. I'm just an old lady. <laughs> so don't mind what I'm doing. Just make sure that you have a straight line anyway you are going to do it. It doesn't matter how. And I'm going to do it again. A row of nine, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we are almost there. And again, this is a number one, number two, and a number four, number five. And of course, I understand if for some people this is taking much too long and you don't want to see how I make it, I totally understand. Just skip forward because uh, I know your time is precious. So if you don't want to see how it is totally made, just skip forward. But of course, I hope you enjoy to see how I make it. And we're going to do the last one. Six, seven, eight and nine. And this is already the last. And let me tell you something. I also, this is only the front side of the telephone so we are also going to do the back side of the telephone also the same but don't worry i will do it a little bit <laughs> a little bit faster so you don't have to worry about it <laughs> that you see that's also the whole time so 
and this is a number four. We are going to give it a couple of minutes drying and then we're going to glue everything together. So what we're going to do, we have our four pieces. We are going to do on the side. We're going to glue some line on this way. We're going to do a line on this one. And we're going to do a line on this one. So we can easily make them together. Just place them on top of here. This is already a number one. We are going to go for a number two of number three on top of here. And the last one. And again, you see already we have a little open gap over here. And we're going to try to get it away because we want to have it as close as we can. So that's the greatest about wood glue. You still can readjust it and make sure that everything is sticking together. You see, just work a little bit with it and you get a nice shape you like because you don't want to have to uh, have too much open gaps. So like this. And this is already a number one. This is the front side. And now we're going to make the back. And of course, I told you, I don't do it <laughs> together with you. Don't worry. <laughs> don't skip, <laughs> skip forward. I will make the second one uh, a little bit faster. So we have our two pieces of four rows of nine. We are going to place it beside and we're going to let this dry. Of course, what we're going to do right now, we're going to make the sides. And the sides we are going to make a row of three and another row of three. And again, three and the last one. Of course this way so we're going to glue the tops on each other so very easy this way and this way and we're going to squeeze it and press it together we do here the same so this is easy to do and this will be the bottom the inside of the bottom and the top of course in a moment i will squeeze it don't worry and i place this against each other and the last and we're going to squeeze it like this and make sure that you have a straight line. And again, and over here, we're going to get our towel and we're going to wipe away the glue we don't need. Like this, and we're going to give it at least a couple of uh, minutes. We're going to place one on the side, we're going to do some glue, a little line over here. And we're going to place it down and press two of them together this way. And again, make sure you have a straight line. We're going to do this one on the side. And don't worry if it falls apart because it is wood glue. You still can readjust it. So don't worry about it. And again, squeeze it. And we're going to give this also a couple of so minutes. So I am looking to my uh, top and my bottom and I think for me the telephone will be a little bit too small. So what I'm going to do is very easy. I'm just going to do one block and one on the top and I'm going to place it over here. I do one over here and one over here. Place it over here and I'm going to do on this side a little glue and I make them one row wider because I think he is for me a little bit too small. I'm going to do for this one the same but you can also make three pieces of three and then glue them together. That's easier than what I do but I have to uh, do the DIY already in my head and of course sometimes I change, uh, change it up so in this way I can easily change it up because Sometimes you see something and you think in your head it looks different than it is on <laughs> when you are going to make it. So that's why I can make the, the, the mistakes and you can easily make it already for yourself. So very easy like this. We're going to place it aside and we're going to let this dry. Now for the sides we are going to get four blocks like this. And we're going to again 
do now three rows of four for one side and again over here this is one side and later we're going to cut off a little piece because he will be a little bit too long so again i make another one of four rows and another one because we also need three over here and again like this but i will do it a little bit faster Now we have our parts of our box, uh, but we will now what will be later on the telephone. <laughs> so we have two of the smaller parts, we have two of the bigger parts. What we're going to do, we are going to place one aside, we're going to do some glue on this side, we're going to glue it already on top of here. So very easy, just lay the one of the three rows of three over here. We're going to place this on the underside and make sure that you give it a little bit of pressure. And again, make sure that you have it in a straight line like this. And give it a couple of minutes rest. And you see already, if we're going to place this one in front of here, you see we have a little too much because this one also needs to come over here. So you see... We need to cut off this a little piece, so I get my, my pencil and I'm going to place it against here. Make sure that you have everything measured out nice and place this one over here. And you can very easy make a nice little line over here. And this piece needs to come off from both of our longer sides. So we are going to get my ruler and I'm going to, you see, this little piece has to come off and I'm going to go it over here. We'll get my jigsaw, cut it off and I'll cut it also off on this side. And then we can really glue everything together. So you see, I did cut off a little piece and of course some pieces broke out. So don't worry about it because I did saw it too fast. You need to give it a couple of hours before you're going to saw it. But I am always a little bit <laughs> on patient, so I'm always a little bit faster than, than my blocks will. So I'm going to do some glue on the sides and we're going to place it over here. And again, give it a little bit of pressure and make sure that everything is fitting nicely together. Of course, we're going to do with this part the same. We're going to do on the side. And on the other side, over here. And we're going to place this one on this side. At the ending, so over here. And again, give it a little bit of pressure. And redo your piece until here. And like this. And we're going to do this one also, but we're going to do it a little on the side, over here. We do a little over here. And of course, on the other side, over here. So now we're going to place it in between. And we're going to give it a bit of pressure on top and then work with it the way you want to have it. Wipe away the glue on the sides, which you don't want, like this. You also can use a little small brush to wipe away the glue. So I'm going to give it a couple of minutes and then we're going to lay the top on here. So I gave it a couple of minutes and I'm going to do some glue on here over the whole piece. And this way, because we want to be sure that everything will stick very nicely together. And I have to squeeze this one a little up this way, because we want to be sure. And now we're going to do the top. And then we hope everything will fit nicely, but we will see. And we're going to work with it and feel with your fingers. That's the best way. Just feel with your fingers that you have everything in a nice straight line and give it some pressure on top. 
and we're going to let it dry at least for a couple of hours. So we placed our tele telephone box on the side. What we're going to do, we're going to make it a stand for it. Of course, you don't have to do it if you don't like uh, that it's placed on a stand. It's also fine. Don't do it then. We are going to take five blocks. Uh, very easy. We are going to do the longest side like this. And two, number three, and number four and number five is again the closure up squeeze it press it together and we're going to do again another five very easy just this way number two and number three again and a number four again and we're going to squeeze it press it together and we're going to do it for number three and of course, we have to place them down or else we're going to glue them in the wrong way. And we don't want that. Number two and a number three and a number four. And this is our three pieces of five. We're going to give it a couple of minutes drying. Of course, we are going to wipe away the glue we don't need. And of course, place them again in a straight line over here. So we can work further with our, because this is one layer of the stand. And I think the layer is for me a little bit too uh, thin. So I want to have a little bit of a thicker look. So what I'm going to do is very easy and it doesn't cost too much blocks. Over here and one over here. So I'm going to place this one and we're going this two we do together. This one and this one. Very easy. Squeeze it in a straight line. Squeeze it in a straight line. Give it a couple of minutes before we're going to make a nice shape out of it. So then we're going to do very easy, but give it a couple of and minutes. Of course, if everyone has paid attention, you see already I do come <laughs> one block too short. You see already, but if I glue this together, it needs three and not two so we're going to do one extra on top so we have need two pieces of three and again over here we're going to do this one also with three and with three and two loose blocks so <laughs> give it a couple of minutes and now we're going to have our three pieces of five we're going to do some glue on the side on this one and on this one and place it down and again roll it together in one line so this is already one now we only need a little glue on this side on this side and place it over here we do on this the same and on here and we're going to place them in between and we close it with this one and again squeeze it and Make sure that you have everything fit together nicely. And this way. And we're going to give it a couple of minutes drying. So in the meantime, while these two are drying, we are going to get six blocks. And what we're going to do, we're going to do some glue on here. We do some glue on here. Place it on top and place it on top. And we have some glue on here. And we do some glue on this one and again place them on top you get another six blocks like this we do some glue and we place it on top we do some glue and we place this one on top we do some glue again over here and on this one the same and we already have our three piece squeeze it together like this and again squeeze and make a nice straight line squeeze and again make sure that you have a straight line and here the same squeeze it and have a straight line again wipe away the glue you don't need like this and again if everything is going a little bit offline just go this way and like this so and we're going to let this dry also so now this for our drying we're going to take this piece we're going to take this piece and we're just going to do some glue 
around the lines over here, over here, and over here, and over here. And so we're going to place carefully, place this on top, very easy. And if everything is correctly, everything will fit nicely together. Give it a little bit of pressure. And again, redo it in the shape that it, everything has a nice straight line around it. And we're going to give it some rest. For these four pieces of three, because we I place them straight up, we do some glue over here. And we do some glue over here because we're going to place them together this way. And we're going to place this one together this way. And again, you also can place them aside and squeeze them. And again, like this. And we're going to give this also a couple of minutes again. Now you see how it looks like a double up. And of course, we're going to turn around because this will be the top. You see, now you have with a couple of blocks a double layer, and of course it isn't, but it gives the feeling that it is a little bit thicker, so it fits a little bit better with our telephone. Of course, we are going to do some glue on the underside, and we're going to place it over here, like this, and I'm going to do on this one the same, and again some glue. And I'm going to place it also over here in a straight line. And we're going to let this dry. So this is how the stand finally turned out. Of course, like I said, you don't have to use it. I'm going to now do the telephone receiver, the top of the telephone. We are going to get five blocks like this. And we're going to glue them together very easy. This is one number two, number three, number four, and number five is the closure up. Squeeze it, press it together like this. We get another five. And again, we do the same procedure like we did with the other one. Number three and a number four. And again, squeeze it, press it together. And the last of five for the top of the receiver and then we only need five of course for the underside this is one this is two this is three and this is four and again squeeze together press the blocks down if they want to pop up and this is for the top and now we also going to do three times five for the underside of the receiver you see i already have three pieces of five and i'm going to do this a little bit faster So we have our six pieces of five and we are going to glue them together. So first we're going to do this one and we're going to do for this on the side and then we're going to glue them together this way. Squeeze it and make sure that you have a nice straight line. And you see already this one is not totally fitting right. Maybe if we turn it over it fits a little bit better but hmm, not really. I don't really like this way. Now I can do it on the underside, so it is not really a problem. But for most of the time, look for which one is fitting the best. Maybe this one is better, or maybe this one. You see already, this one is much better. So I'm going to glue this together and this one. And then we're going to squeeze it, press it down. And in the meantime, while this is drying, I'm going to wipe away the glue. And here the same. We are going to get three blocks. And this is one. And this is two. So we're going to do on the tops and over here. And we're going to squeeze it. We're going to do here the same. This is one, and this is number two. And again, squeeze it together this way. And we're going to give it a couple of minutes to dry in. So we gave it a couple of minutes for drying. Of course, we want to be sure that everything is dried. What we're going to do, we place it on the side. And this one on the side, we get two loose blocks like this. So we do some glue on this side of the block. 
and on this side we place one over here and we do here the same and on this side and we place it down and we're going to get this one over here and we're going to very carefully we're going to squeeze it together this way and it, if everything is in a straight line we're going to let this dry we gave it a couple of minutes we are going to do now a little line of glue over it and over here and around here and around here and you will see that he's not totally fitting on top of here and it gives a nice decorative uh, line so that's really a great thing so we're going to look for that we have it over here in the middle and this way and give it a little bit of pressure and again feel with your fingers your fingers always the best to feel the lines and again go with your wet kitchen towel around the edges and remove away the glue and if the sides also have glue just go around it with your brush and wipe away make sure that everything has a nice ending in the middle because we don't want the pieces are not totally fitting like this and we're going to give so a couple now of we're going to do some glue on the inside a little bit of this top over here and over here and over here and we're going to place this one also on top very easy make sure that you have it fitting and what you also can do you can turn it over and then you can look a little bit better if you have it exactly in the middle the same like you have with the top and again squeeze it press it together and you see now you have a nice decorative lining in between so now we place our top of our receiver uh, on the side to dry we are going to make again a piece of five again like the same like we did with the top of the receiver number three and number four and number five is the closure up again and again squeeze it press it together and place it on the side remove the glue and again number four and five and we're going to do the same and number three and let me know if you are making this DIY or making uh, other DIYs I hear from a lot of friends who are making the DIYs and I'm so happy about it because if you place uh, your DIY on uh, YouTube or Pinterest or maybe somewhere else, it's always so much fun that people are making your DIY. That's the way why you place it there because you want to show it and give so someone also a try. Maybe they like it also. So let me know which one and maybe you can send a picture if you made a DIY. We would love to see it, what you made out of it. And then again, this is number three. And now I'm going to the last one, number four. But of course, you don't have to do it. If you don't want to send a picture, it's also fine. You will find our emails always in our description box. So if you have time and you like to show it to us, just uh, place it there. We would love to see it. A lot of friends already do, but we love to see more this is already four from number uh, uh four pieces of five now we're going to do three and we're going to do for eight pieces of three this is very easy and you see already this is number one i will do the rest a little bit faster four pieces of five we lay this aside what we're going to do first with four pieces of the three we're going to place them this way so you have them this way not this way but this way we could do one over here we're going to do one over here one over here and this one will be the closure up so it is very easy we do some glue on this side and on this side place it over here we do this one on this side the same some glue over here and some glue over here and we're going to place 
this one and this one and we closing it up with this one and we're going to give it a little bit of pressure and make sure that we have it in a straight line and this is already a little kind of a box we're going to do here the same we place this straight up we place this one this way because we have to look very nice uh, that we have it really this way and not this way so we're going to place it over here i'm going to do some glue on this side on this side place it down and we do it on this side and on this side and again we're going to place this one over here and this one over here and a little bit and then we're going to close it up with this one and again give it a little bit of pressure but of course make sure that you have everything still in a straight line and again we do it a little so everything is like you want to have it and wipe away the glue and and we're going to give it a couple of minutes dry we gave it a couple of minutes what we're going to do we're going to turn it over do some glue a little on the inside over here and of course we have to do some glue on each side we get one of the pieces of five we place it exactly this one is fitting straight and this one has a little overlay the same like we did with the middle piece of the receiver so again this way and we're going to do with this one the same we're going to turn it over we're going to give it a little glue on this side and this side over here give it a little bit of pressure on this block because later we can we can't redo it anymore so we want to be sure that this is the size we want as you see is a little bit of line and we don't want that so and again place it over here and we're going to give it some pressure and we're going to let this dry in for a couple of minutes so i give it a couple of minutes and of course i'm going to do now some glue on this side also again a little on the inside and i do here the same over here and I'm going to place it on this block and of course I'm going to turn it over and place it over here so I can look better where I want to have it and this way and we're going to let it dry I'm going to do here the same turn it over and again place it on top of here so I can easily see where I want to have it also and again we're going to let this two dry so in the meantime while the two endings of our receiver are drying we're going to take four blocks we're going to do two together so this one and this one and this one and this one very easy just squeeze it and again squeeze it and wipe away the glue you don't need like this and we do it and make a straight line again and of course do some glue on the ending and we're going to glue them together and this way in a straight line now we have a little block of four pieces and we give it a couple of minutes so now we get our four block what i'm going to do i'm going to get our box and of course i have to place you a little bit high i hope you see it a little bit better i placed you a little bit up we are going to do some glue on here over here and we're going to place this one in the middle we have to look for a straight line and again give it a little bit of pressure and we're going to let this dry also so and now we're going to get the uh, part which is really uh, distressing distressing for me of the stressful for me because i don't know if it will fit or not so we will see <laughs> we will see this is the size and this is how they are looking like of course it looks very strange because we didn't paint it yet and this is the middle piece of the receiver we made and what i'm going to do i'm going to do some glue on this side and on this side and then i'm going to glue my sides on top of here and now I and then I hope that the box is still fitting inside of here. If it does, if it doesn't, I have a problem. <laughs> so, 
we will see how this will turn out. So I'm going to do some glue on this side over here. And just do enough because we don't want that it breaks uh, from each other. And I'm doing this side. Also over here. And here. And we're going to place it down. And we're going to place this one and this one next to each other. And then we will see if it will fit or not later. <laughs> but first it has to dry. And I know this uh, telephone receiver is different. It is unique because you made it. And I have, this is no intention to uh, copy one of uh, another telephone. This is just my telephone and I can do what I want. So <laughs> that's why I always make fantasy pieces. So again, I'm going to let this dry because it is very heavy and we have to wait until it can on top of the box. And of course our little uh, box is drying and of course our receiver is drying. We are going to need of course on the front some numbers. And of course I want always to try to make everything from the Tombly Tower block. So we are also going to make the knobs for the, uh, the telephone also with our blocks. So we are going to make six pieces of two because we are going to uh, saw them uh, in parts. So we only need six because for one number is two is too much. You will see in a moment what I mean. And we're going to glue this one. So again, squeeze it. And again, squeeze this one. Squeeze it. And make a nice straight line and then we're going to let it dry and we're going to make them in half. So we get 12, 12, I already say, say it in Dutch. In Dutch 12 is 12, it looks a little bit alike. So we are going to, at the end we're going to saw them in half and we get 12 pieces and we say 12. So again, let it dry for a couple of minutes. See, I made with my ruler, I made a line in the middle of the block. So I have six pieces and I already have seven pieces instead of six. You only need six. I don't know why I have seven, but I have seven. <laughs> so we, don't need, we don't need this. We need six of two and I let it uh, even dry a little bit longer because we have to use the hand saw or jigsaw. I use the jigsaw from the Lidl. So I'm going to cut every, uh, all six of them in half, but before I'm going to do it, I'm going to let this dry. But first I'm going to paint as far as I can my telephone. So if everything is correctly, you have three pieces. You have this block, like this. You have the stand, you use it or you don't use it. And you have the a little of the receiver, like this. And of course, later we do some uh, rope uh, on it, but first we're going to paint it. And I'm going to uh, use the creamy color, just of a white color. But you can choose any color you like. And I always, most of the time I choose this color also. So you can easily uh, make up your mind with color, waxing, color, spray painting, because you also can do this one in a gold color. So spray paint it in gold or copper. It doesn't matter. Just do whatever you think is right and fitting for your decor. So I'm going to uh, paint all the three pieces in the creamy uh, color. So it's very easy. You see already, if I show it to you, it's a really a nice color like this. You see, it's just a little off white. I don't know if the camera picks it up right. So I'm going to piece, uh, paint all the pieces and then we're going to glue our numbers on top. So you see already, I did cut the pieces in half and I painted them in the black color. But you can do the numbers, of course, in any color you like. So the white paint is drying. Of course, my numbers are drying. It was a little bit hard to get a straight line with my jigsaw to for the number blocks. But we will see how it will look uh, at the end. Of course, now I'm going to take a piece of rope, a thicker rope, and I'm going to give also this one a little bit of a black distressing over the rope because he's brown and this is black. So I like a little bit that it's coming together. So I'm going to take a piece of a rope and I'm going to do also a little bit of chalk paint over it. So I have my piece of thicker rope over here in a little bag. And of course, this is the thickness I use. I did already on one side, I did already a knot because it will be on the side of the um, telephone receiver. 
and I'm going to use a little piece and I'm going to do the knot, not on the ending yet. I do that later, but this piece I'm going to give also very easy. Take your black paint and just go a little bit over it to make also a little bit of the black color on top of your rope. But if you have a black rope, you are fine. <laughs> you have it better than me because, <laughs> because I have to make it black. So I'm going to distress this. And let it dry and then we only need to do uh, glue the letters on top and glue our um, little um, rope on the side and then we already are at the end of this DIY So you see already the rope is in the black color. I have my numbers in the black color and I use some sticker uh, numbers. I have some sticker with some letters and some numbers, but you can do anything. You can write your uh, yourself on top of here, but I just did in the gold color. I left this two in the black color. We are going to place them on top of here and I'm going to glue them with some wood glue on top of here. You see, I place them on top of here and I think they are in the same uh, direction I want to have them. So I'm going to get my wood glue and I'm going to glue them one by one in the same rows that I want to have them. So I take a little bit of, it takes a little bit of time, but take your time for it because at the end it looks much better. So I have my numbers on top and I let it, this dry. I have already my uh, uh, rope and I cut off the ending of the first knob I made. Of course, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just fill it up with some uh, glue from my glue gun and then let it dry. And then the second uh, time, I'm going to glue it on the side of our receiver. But first I'm going to get, give it a little bit of layer of some glue so it can already stick a little together like this and everything together so it doesn't go out of each other anymore so I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to do an extra layer and I'm gluing it on the side so see I place lightly I place the receiver on top of the telephone and I'm going to, this one is already glued. And now I did a knob. I measured out where I want to have, and I want to have them on the side over here on this side. And maybe I can show it to you a little bit better. You see, this one is already on here. Maybe you can even see it better than this over here. And I'm going to place the other one in the middle over here. So I made a knot. I measured it out. And of course, I'm going to place the knot. I'm going to cut it off and I'm going to glue it on top of here. So I don't do a, a whole big piece of the a rope, just a little piece. But then everything is together and we only need to glue it on the stand. But that's optional, you don't have to do it. So in a moment you see if I choose for the stand or not. And you see the quick impression. And here you see a quick impression of my Tomlet Tower Blocks telephone. And of course you see already I kept the stand under it because I like to place it on a tray and decorate the underside with some greenery. So he has a little bit uh, a, a riser that he can uh, come out of my greenery. But of course, you do anything you like. But of course, I hope you took out your Tumblr Tower Blocks too and did this DIY together with me. And if you are here only for watching, of course, we hope you had so much fun watching. And if you're new here, of course, we hope you will click the red subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and hit the bell so you will be notified every time we upload new DIYs. Of course, everyone have an amazing day and we hope to see you in the next one. Bye.